Good day to folks, uh, Tyler here. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about my little vermicomposting operation. Um, I just basically uh, managed it in a little bin there. I think it's like a 30 liter tote or something like that. But uh, I just want to show you basically how amazing this stuff is. This is really, I've grown a real keen liking to it. And uh, I'm going to fold back this paper and show you exactly what it is. These here are called red wiggler worms. They're not an earthworm, but they're similar to one, like it's a certain breed of earthworm that actually just eats compost and garbage. And the reason they use these worms are, uh, you can pretty much use any worm for like eating garbage and stuff, but these ones here do it much more proficiently and um, they breed like crazy. Like right now, I got probably about a thousand of these worms in this bin. I got about one pound worth, and they'll eat actually half their a half a pound in garbage a day for one pound of worms. So like uh, this green stuff here, this is just a tomato that I uh, I grinded up. It's a green tomato or whatever that I grinded up, and they just love the stuff. And if you I'll zoom in a little closer on them. They're slowly migrating back in because uh, they don't like the light. Pretty sensitive to the light. But uh, what they give you is a compost so rich in nutrients and just microbial activity. And it just grows plants like crazy. Like the plants that grow in this soil will thrive so much. It's pretty much like black gold. That's what I compare it to. It's, uh, and you can use any kind of organic matter. You can use kitchen scraps. You can use, um, right now I just, uh, this is a bag of leaves that I grinded up with my leaf blower. I just got in my yard there and I feed them those. Um, as long as you use pretty much a 50-50 ratio of um, carbon to nitrogen materials, like leaves would, and wood chips and all that would be considered carbon-based materials. Uh, they'll eat pretty much anything. Now, I feed them cardboard scraps too, you'll see right here. They don't break these up as good there, but uh, eventually those will just turn into compost and worm castings. <clears throat> and worm castings is it's the best thing you could ever feed your plant. It's 100% organic, so you don't have to worry about any chemicals in this. This is uh, in like I've just got so taken up with this over the past, ever since I get into it, like, which, I knew about it all along, but I just placed my order of worms a couple of weeks ago, and I got a really nice little culture going here, and they're happy, I can tell they're happy, because they look healthy, and they're, they're actually multiplying like crazy, even after three weeks of getting them, I mean, uh, I'm really, I, I get a lot in this bin, like, it takes care of all my kitchen scraps like there's certain things you cannot feed them um, for one thing uh, they don't like onions or they don't like uh, citrus peelings as long as you feed it in moderation like anything acidic there they don't really care for they'll kind of turn their nose up against it but uh, for the most part they uh, they really love fruits and like I say any kind of organic matter that's not too acidic there like I got a tea bag in here you can see that turn that over, see nothing but worm castings on it, eventually that's just going to turn into compost. Um, they break everything down and they're just amazing. Like, <clears throat> And if you feel guilty about, you know, throwing your garbage out and having it go in the landfill and do nothing, this is what you need to do. You need to start a worm bin. And I tell you, like, there's no smell at all. If you manage your worms properly, you keep the proper humidity, the proper you know, and it pretty much takes care of itself. Uh, you got to check the pH level once in a while. Like, uh, what I do is um, I add little eggshells. These little white bits here, these are grinded up eggshells. And uh, what that'll do is it'll neutralize the soil, the pH in the soil, so they're they're happy. Like, because, uh, um, and what I got here, uh, these are little tubes. Uh, um, it's not something you have to do, but I do it anyway and I find it helps. Uh, they're just air stones going down to the bottom and what they're doing is they're aerating the 
compost so that it doesn't go anaerobic. There's absolutely no smell in here at all. Like it's, it smells like totally organic. There's, it's very earthy smelling, but like you cannot really pick up any odors at all. Even though like it's garbage and it's you know, and these worms, what they do is, uh, as long as you provide a good healthy environment, they uh, they multiply and they proliferate and they uh, they make the environment aerobic so that it does not stink any way like the only way you can make this spin smell if is if you overfeed them and uh, as long as you know roughly how many worms you have in here like me basically I get a pound of worms so I know that I have to feed them half a pound of garbage a day if the garbage sits there for you know any longer than a week without getting digested it will start to stink yes but you basically gotta you know measure that out like uh, you know if you only get a pound of worms, you're not going to put five pounds of garbage in there every day, or else you're going to get a smelly bin. But uh, you can just see the compost. I'll just give you an idea here. They're they're all buried underneath here, and you just get a big ball of them here. They're wow. You see that? Now these guys are friggin' happy. These guys are playing in dirt, and they love it. But uh, like like I say, these are called red wigglers. You can order them on the internet. I get a thousand of them, one pound of them, roughly, for uh, $35. This here in Canada, that's the cheapest I could find. But that's all you need to start these out. You need a th roughly a thousand of them. And those will consume most of your household scraps, you know, that you could even think about getting. Like, uh, uh, like I say, they're just awesome. And what they produce for me, it's a kind of a mutual beneficial thing, you know. Like I feed them my table scraps, which doesn't cost me anything. I I gotta grind them up a bit to break them down for them, just to make it easier for them. But they give me uh, rich organic matter, which I can grow my plants in, and the plants just thrive. Uh, the microbial activity in this soil is so high that there's no diseases that can possibly attack the plant because the microbes take care of all the pathogens like they're uh, it's just amazing like now I plan to split this bin off in another probably they say they can double in population every three months so I'm gonna keep an eye on it and I'm gonna once I see there's too many worms in this bin I'm gonna split them off and into another bin I'll basically cut a draw a line here and then I'll basically take half the soil out and put it in a new bin and they will start a new culture in the new bin so uh, there you have it folks these are called red wigglers and they will eat your garbage and turn it into literally black gold compost um, something that your plants will thrive very highly in and uh, if you're into gardening and all that like organic gardening um, I highly recommend doing this little project you'll find it's it's not like if you don't like worms like it's it's not a big deal like they do they don't stink up your kitchen they do their job they're basically little workers like that's all they do their job is to eat and to make compost like and if you can utilize these little guys to make your rich garden soil you'll find your garden will grow ten times better because they create soil with five times the uh, nitrogen, six times the phosphorus. I don't know the exact figures, but it's just amazing. Like uh, you don't have to use chemical fertilizer no more because this is the fertilizer, and it's like a it acts as a slow release. Their castings actually act as a slow release fertilizer, so that you can uh, basically use organic instead of using chemical chemical soil or chemical fertilizers aren't good they'll leach into the ground into the rivers and all that like and pollute the rivers like you want organic organic is as good as it gets uh, like later on in the once they start once they basically make me a load of compost I'm gonna use that as my soil and I will actually compare I'm gonna make a video with a comparison of uh, organic growth versus uh, fertilizer and you're gonna find that organics better it will grow the plant better you'll have a higher yield of fruit and uh, 
So anyways, I think I said too much. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to sign off here. Uh, you get the idea, basically. Um, I just store them in this little 30-quart bin. Not a big bin. It's got holes in the top. It's got all the aeration it needs. Aeration here is the key. You gotta, if you don't have your air stones, you gotta turn the soil every so often, just so they can get the proper aeration. You do not want this to go anaerobic, or it will stink. <laughs> I got this in my house, and like I say, it's it doesn't stink at all. As long as you take proper care of the population, you're good to go. So anyways, uh, that's it for my Red Wiggler project here. Uh, I hope you try it. If you have any questions, uh, just email me and I'll try to answer as best as I can. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you later, folks.